everyone. I uh, joined Terry up here in Guapa, Canada. We're at the Armstrong Air and Space Museum. It's exit 111 off of I-75, and we're gonna take you guys on a tour. Never been here before. Driven by it probably 150 times in my years, and uh, we're gonna go and venture through the museum, let you guys know what's going on, and you can come and barnstorm the area. different exhibits. It started out with the Mercury and then the Gemini and the Apollo and they even had the space shuttle uh, exhibit there. Uh, we seen so many cool things there such as this food that is being shown right now. It's kind of amazing it looks really nasty. I wouldn't want to eat it uh, especially this cream of potatoes or the pineapples and things like that. Uh, but we seen that then we got to see uh, the tools that they would carry in some of the spacecraft, which are some of the just normal wrenches. And also they had pulleys and different things like that so they could repair uh, anything that was broken. The restroom area, they had little uh, pee bags and bottles that they would be able to put their urine specimens and things in. And that's really what was kind of fascinating to get to see a lot of different things like that even some of the navigational tools uh, through the maps and uh, the charts that they used to try to navigate through the stars Another very interesting part of the museum was the movie theater. They had a 26-minute long movie that played every 30 minutes, and it kind of covered when Neil Armstrong landed on the moon. And uh, hearing the president call him and speak with him, all that stuff was really fun for us to watch and to listen to.
So Terry, what do you think about the museum so far? Excellent. Excellent music. The word lunatic comes from the Latin word for moon because people believed that the faces of the moon influenced human behavior. Lunatic. That's us. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 